What's up, a cinema show gun here. And one thing that I think the majority of us could agree upon is that it is time for America to clean up its city streets. And when I say that, I more so mean big cities. Because down here in the South and, you know, in smaller towns across America, we still have beautiful little cities. You know, where the crime isn't as bad and the homeless problem isn't as bad. Yet these big cities, they are seeing crime waves. The homelessness, it, it, I, I mean, the, the homeless rate is through the roof. You got junkies shooting up in broad daylight on the corner. People running in and robbing places, beating people up in the street. Did any of you all see what was happening in Chicago over the past couple of days? But when I mentioned that we need to clean our city streets, what most likely comes to your mind is, hey, we need to crack down on crime. We need to find a solution for this homelessness problem. Or maybe even literally, we need to literally clean the streets of the litter. Clean the sidewalks, clean the roadways, you name it. But one thing you probably did not think of when I mentioned cleaning our city streets is robotic garbage cans. Now, when I look at all of the problems that are going on in big cities across America, the last thing that I think we necessarily need... Maybe not the last thing, but one thing that I wouldn't think of is robotic trash cans. Trash cans with wheels and cameras that just roll around so people can throw trash in them. Because people can't be bothered to walk a few steps to a trash can. No, we need robot trash cans riding all around our city filled with trash filled with God knows what, attached with tons of cameras so they could record and see everything. That's what we need, right? Well, if I told you that cities were going to start having robot trash cans a few years ago, you would probably look at me crazy. Yet here we are in 2023, and I truly believe that we are living in one of the craziest periods in human history. I think that future generations are going to look back on the last few years we've had and the next few years going forward as a pivotal time when the world really changed. And as the world changes around you, are you prepared for those changes? Are you prepared for robotic trash cans to be rolling around as you eat your Subway sandwich outside trying to enjoy the weather. Well, that's where we're at now. And NYC recently just rolled out, literally rolled out, some new robot trash cans. I kid you not. Let's go ahead and watch this clip and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. Two robots have taken over New York City, and they come in the form of trash cans. Check this out. Cornell University researchers have released two robotic trash cans in Astor Place, the goal to examine how humans interact with autonomous objects. The robots use 360-degree cameras to navigate and recycled hoverboards to get around. The reactions of New Yorkers, well, they were mixed. Some people had fun interacting with the trash cans, while others steered clear of them. Overall, researchers found the robot trash cans created social interactions with New Yorkers and that some people even went out of their way to create... Garbage. Now, at first glance, this seems kind of cool. It seems kind of interesting. And some people even deem it as cute. Oh, let me make, let me make some trash so the little robot trash can can roll over to me and I can throw it in there. But you see, in my opinion... Stuff like this is being used to desensitize us. It didn't fly over my head that New York rolled out some robotic trash cans, totally harmless robot trash cans. They rolled out this program right before they announced that they are going to have new police 
robots patrolling the subways and Times Square and other parts of New York City. So when I look at these trash cans, like I said, it seems convenient. We, we can't deny that, hey, we need as many trash cans as possible. People need to start using these trash cans. And, you know, when you think of it, oh, this may be a good thing. But in my mind, in my opinion, what they're doing here is they're disarming you. They're desensitizing you. First comes the robot trash cans that you get used to rolling around like they have a life of their own. Next comes the robot police officers that come rolling around with the life of their own. And it's like they're, they're slowly but gradually introducing us into a new world. But one of the most disturbing parts about these trash cans is obviously they have to have cameras. And we know that for a fact that they're attached with cameras. The cameras help them move and you know, decide where to go. But is it just me? Or is does it seem like the powers that be just have a fetish for attaching cameras to everything? It's like they got to get a camera in any nook and cranny they can so they can watch you. And I know some people are thinking, I don't care if trash cans are rolling around spying on us watching us, using facial recognition technology to put us in their databases. A lot of people always have the same excuse. Oh, we're getting tracked by our phones. They're spying on us through our phones anyway. And I get it. You're right about that. You're right. But does this not ring, ring some alarms for you? Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're spying on us through our phones. We walk around with the tracking device in our pocket every day. I get it. But why is that not enough for them? Ask yourself that question. That is what should really concern you. Knowing that you're walking around with a device in your pocket that listens to you talk, that knows your location, it knows when you poop, it knows your schedule, why is it necessary that they have to keep imposing this big brother, if you will, to watch us? I don't think that these trash cans are for your convenience. Trash cans are, per are, are pretty simple. You know, I mean, it may seem kind of cool and futuristic, but at the end of the day, you can get your ass up and you can walk to the trash can and dispose of your trash. Any area where you're eating or anything like that, any area where trash would usually be created, there's trash cans around you. So honestly, I think this is just an excuse. This little robot trash can, it's just an excuse to roll around with their cameras watching you. And I think it's something that, that they're going to implement first to, to make you feel more okay, to make you not as alarmed when you have literal robots walking around the city, telling you when you could cross the street, checking your IDs, things of that nature. I mean, some of that stuff may be something that will happen a little farther down the road, but what we're watching here is the introduction of a new age, a new age where man will be coexisting with literal robots and artificial intelligence. And it may seem wild, but this is how it starts. They're rolling out the robot trash cans. If you haven't watched my other video, New York City just rolled out some police robots. So we're witnessing the, the beginning, if you will. We're going to watch this thing from the ground up. I mean, we, we may not be here to, to see how it all ends or, or where this all goes, but we're definitely watching the start of something new, something that's going to change our lives forever and change the world forever. So I hope everybody is ready for those changes. 
I'm not. I'm not necessarily going to be able to embrace robot trash cans and robot cops, but I guess we have no choice at this point. Let me know your thoughts, though, down in the comments below while you're down there. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and as always, I'll talk to you all in the next video.